<laughs> well, oh, well, that's Jimmy dancing because he's happy because he's got food in his gob, isn't it? But today, I'd like to take a look at this book, which is uh, uh, a really good piece of writing, I think. It's very funny. Um, during the um, 1970s, the British film industry almost collapsed. It, it, it had huge studios all over the place, uh, one of which was in Elstree. And they had them at Shepperton, they had them at Pinewood in Black Park in Iver Heath. They used to have the Hammer House of Horror Studios. Um, oh, I can't remember where they were now because uh, my brain is going. But there was also another studio at Ealing and, and that's the clock. During, during the 19 sort of 30s and 40s, the British film industry was like, you know, ripping it up making it bah, 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 bah. it was ripping it up but uh, by the 1970s it had uh, completely uh, bray bray was the studios uh, at uh, for the hammer they were at bray studios near windsor there was also a studio a film studios up in um i can't remember the name of that now either baldock uh, baldock in hertfordshire so they were they were everywhere everywhere when I used to work for the media, there was this really funny Hungarian chap, and he used to—he was a cleaner, and he used to say, um, "Look at this mess, look," because he was speaking in English, obviously, but he was obviously Hungarian. And he was very, very, very kind man, but he was fu very funny as well. He'd say, "Look at this shit, shit everywhere. I have." Cleaned and emptied the beans, and now it is full of shit again. Footprints, effing footprints everywhere. And I used to roar laughing because he just sounded like one of the early sort of Hammer House kind of characters out of the films. <laughs> anyway, I got a great thing for comedy, and this guy Robert Rob Asquith, Robin Asquith. Was, was was classic. In the 1970s, when the film industry was dying in England, he brought it back to life. And guess what? Guess what? The, the cover. <laughs> it's brilliant. This book's brilliant. But um, ultimately, he did this series called Confessions. And they were kind of like Lorno, sort of light porn. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. But um, these phrases, I mean, he's a witty fellow, that's a fact. I, I like this one out of, the, out of all the three of them. A girl goes into a pub and orders a double entendre, so the barman gives her one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I mean, and he did work with Sid James as well. This, this, this chap did actually work with Sid James. There's the uh, ISBN if you want to grab yourself a copy. Um, a classic book. I, I, I don't know how sort of um, common they are now. Windsor Davis. Shut up, shut up! <laughs> he was uh, one of Rob Asquith's great friends, if that gives you any clue to who this bloke is, and he used to call him Squiffy. Squiffy, because obviously of his surname Asquith. Also, um, Rob went to the posh public school near Northwood in, 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 uh, in well, it's in, actually in Moore Park, and um, mm, mm, my dad couldn't afford it, innit? But his dad obviously could. So, uh, <laughs> so um, Merchant Taylors he went to. And um, there's some great uh, anecdotes in this book. And he was in a band. He did all sorts of things before he was an actor. And, and eventually took, sort of, I guess, sold himself to Lorno, you know, in a way. I, I, I suppose in his mind. So I'm, I mean, I'm struggling. The book's fighting me, it is. But um, Confessions of a Window Cleaner is one of the books. I've got a really itchy nose and I want to scratch it, but I can't because I'm holding the book open. But he's very funny. I mean, it says here, you know, it says here, even as a child, I knew I had something special. <laughs> Superb. But he was actually in some really, really good films. And uh, that, there he is in a band uh, in Pinna. Um, which Pinna was just up the road from Northwood, where I where I was from, and it's called this this way up. Uh, it was the name of the band. And then oh, I've got to scratch my nose in it. Sorry, ah, that's got it. And he 
stars in quite a few films, in actual fact, that were quite good, like Lindsay Anderson's If, which was a major film, you know, I mean, that was a, a very good, um, uh, what's it called, art house movie. And that, there he is with Phil Collins's girlfriend. So he's, 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 he's been around and about, but there he is with Robert Lindsay, Citizen Smith. Uh, uh, for my American friends, Citizen Smith was like a TV series in the 70s and it was it kind of like a based based around it was a parody about some re rebel that was like you know he used to say power to the people you know and he was like in tooting in london which is one of the sort of southwest london um lesser places but oh, i know that because i used to live there <laughs> in fact i worked there and in, in the on the buses as we used to call it in the ambulance service but um yeah it 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 was it was a parody of 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 kind of the modern the modernist as it was then in the nineteen seventies type thing. There he is with Tony Booth. You might know that actor better as uh, uh, Cherie Blair's uh, father. Who Cherie Blair was married to Tony Blair, um, the um, Prime Minister of England. So he's 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 had he's had his he's got his contacts in it. And, and all sorts of different movies that he did, always obviously with 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 you know, with with humour in mind that they were they were. <laughs> he was and he also did well. Yeah, yeah, he was lucky in it. It's a tough job, but somebody has to do it, don't they? <laughs> but um, and he was with Warren Mitchell, another famous British sort of actor. Um, Stand Up Virgin Soldiers was the name of the movie. Queen Kong was, was not one of the best ones he ever did. I think he did that with the Polish actress Rula Lenska, in actual fact. Yeah, there he is with Rula Lenska. And there he is in with Bless This House, which was another famous TV series with Sid Sid James, Sidney James. And yeah, wonderful, wonderful days. You know, that there's, there's so many famous faces there. I can see like Terry Scott and... June Whitfield, I can see there. Um, I can't remember this chap's name for now, but um, he was another famous actor. Selwyn Froggitt was the character that he played. Really, really, really cool. Leonard Rossiter, he was in Rising Damp. And there he is with Linda Hayden, who was another famous British actress of the sort of 60s, 70s. Well, 70s, I suppose, really, more than 60s. She was only a child then. But uh, there he is playing with uh, Richard O'Sullivan, who was another famous actor in Robin's Nest. He's played part of Robin Tripp and all that. There he is with Ollie Reed, Oliver Reed, probably probably one of our most famous British actors that ever that went international, as it were. And um, there he is with all sorts of people. Look at that, Mickey Dolenz, even unbelievable. Lisa Goddard. Superb, massive career, massive career, cooking up trouble in Bless This House. And that was his face, I mean, he used to mug, you know, he was he was a sort of a, a mugger, as it were, mugging comic comedic, you know, and this book's gone really old now, isn't it? Unbelievable. But there's the bit at the back there, Robin Asquith, it was Southport, Lancashire, he's a, he's a Lancastrian fella, and I can tell that from his humour. And there's the thing, educated at Merchant Taylor School in Rickmansworth, they call it Rickmansworth, it's not. Well, it arguably is in Rickmansworth, but it's actually in Moore Park. Um, but Rickmansworth is a neighbouring village, well, town. So you can read that for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this anyway. I hope it's some interest. Uh, I, I would certainly recommend you, you read a copy um, because it is funny. It's very funny. It tell, if, you're, if, if you're British... I know the English have their own sense of humour and um, it doesn't always translate, but, but um, I think American people get it, um, definitely. And um, I think if you could get yourself a copy, you'd, you'd have a real belly laugh over this. He's still working, this chap. He's, he's still in pantomime. That's the postman. So anyway, that ends that one. Thanks ever so much for watching. All the very best wishes. Cheers. <laughs>